welcome to my channel and in this video i will be talking about cpz nutrition and dietetics the topics i will cover are what is cpz qualifications for ms in nutrition and dietetics and syllabus cpz is a common postgraduate entrance test which is conducted by ou for admissions into various postgraduate courses like ma msc mcom and five years integrated course offered by usmania university kakatiya telangana mahatma gandhi palamaru shatavahana and jntu the overall duration is for 90 minutes with 100 objective questions each carries one mark and there is no negative marking Qualifications and eligibility criteria. The candidates must have studied in one optional subject at their BSc level that is food and nutrition, applied nutrition and public health, clinical nutrition and dietetics and food science and quality control along with chemistry and botany or zoology or genetics, microbiology, biochemistry and biotechnology should be their optional subjects. The syllabus is divided into two parts, part A which is for 40 marks and part B which is for 60 marks. In part A, uh, first unit is nutritional biochemistry where you need to learn about all the nutrients and focus on deficiency, function and metabolism along with enzymes and its classification and action, water and electrolyte balance. In second unit which is food science and quality control, you need to learn composition, nutritive value, methods of processing, nutrient losses and uses and storage of all the vegetables cereals, food and food products basically, along with anti-nutritional factors, food spoilage and preservation. In part B, the third unit is for nutrition for family where you need to focus on nutritional requirements for different age groups, RDA, food groups and food pyramid. And fourth unit is dietetics and therapeutic nutrition which is very important for the exam point of view where you need to learn etiology, symptoms and dietary management of all the EPO disorders. And the fifth unit is which is community nutrition and public health in which you need to focus on all the topics foodborne disorders food adulteration and contaminants personal hygiene communicable diseases and causes symptoms and treatment and assessment of nutritional status and this thing is very important which is national and international agencies and community nutrition i hope this video will be helpful a link for Syllabus is given in the description. Thank you for watching and in the next video I will be sharing reference books like share comment and don't forget to subscribe